Hi fairies and hi to everyone that is new that has absolutely no idea who I am. I am Larija Andrea and I'm a YouTube content creator slash makeup artist slash hair slayer slash natural hair lace wig color is ish and in this episode of hot girl style i'm going to be showing you guys how to slay your wig get a super nice lace install and i'm also going to be showcasing some black owned products that i love to use so if you guys are interested then stay tuned so let's jump right into this i hope i am up close and personal for you. If I feel a little bit cray cray, that's just because this is just who I am. Accept me for how I am, period. I'm gonna take some 91% alcohol. All these text messages and emails and shit, I don't have time. Stop your freaking nonsense. And I'm just gonna take the alcohol wipe and just go around my hairline. You wanna make sure that you don't have any oils any excess oils on the hairline because then the glue the lace glue that we're using today won't stick properly all right so this is kind of like a new step i've been doing i've been liking to cut my lace before i go ahead and melt it down with the lace glue i'm going to cut a lot of the lace off not too much but make sure you go like in a zigzag motion. Y'all know I'm a pro at this <laughs> or whatever. We want to make sure that we are leaving a good amount of the lace because we need it to, you know, have something to pull or hold on to. I swear to y'all, I've been doing wigs for probably like four years now. And I just now got hit to the idea that I'm supposed to not have that much lace and this entire time I be having lace about two inches on my forehead. I'm just gonna continue to cut, 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 cut. This lace is where? Where's this lace? And we didn't even glue it down yet, okay? I don't know about y'all, but quarantine is still in New Jersey and I don't have anyone to do my hair other than myself, so. We gonna have to teach ourselves. And honestly, one other thing about being in quarantine, quarantine did me justice. Why? Because I learned how to do so much for myself since I've been in quarantine, but that's just a little bit of tea for y'all. Okay, so I'm actually going to pull it back because like I said, my hair color is the same as this. This is my favorite type of blonde. I'm gonna be using this Erica J um, Hold Me Down Adhesive. It looks like this and she actually has a skin guard um, as well I love these two together and then she also has a remover I literally love Erica J's line I purchased it with my own money in case y'all try to say anything I purchased it with my own shmenies but I'm first going to use a skin guard so I'm just going to spray my hairline again I want to take a little bit of the lace glue. Don't apply too much. You don't need that much. You don't want that much because once you put too much on your forehead, it is very hard to get this type of glue off of your forehead. So I'm just going to start about one fourth in front of my hairline. And this is all I'm going to need. And I want to take the back of that applicator and then start to apply. This is literally all I need for my entire perimeter of my hairline. Now I love to take a blow dryer. It doesn't have to be any specific one. Just make sure it's a blow dryer. And I like to take the little nozzle that has like, you know, the precise type of where the direction of the, the air goes. And I'll just blow dry on medium heat until it becomes clear. And then we're gonna do one more layer. All right, so I'm gonna take that lace glue one more time and I'm gonna go in with one more layer. Again, not too much. And then blow dry one more time. Okay, now just take that lace, pull it forward, and then we're just going to start to place 
the lace down. So I'm gonna take the back of that little spatula one more time and use that just to press down on the hairline. Now I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm going to cut the ear tab off. Now we have the melting process. So you wanna take some type of elastic band. I just use any leftover elastic that I have in my house. Some type of spandex or anything like this. Um, I even get old leggings and tie that on my hairline. I'm just gonna take it and put it around my hairline. Now I'm gonna take that blow dry one more time on medium heat. And I like to blow dry the hairline for about two minutes. So the entire meltdown process is done. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is just start to take out all my pens because I went ahead and curled my hair off camera. Now I'm gonna take some hairspray. This is from Got To Be, and I'm just going to spray my parting as well as my hairline. Then I'm gonna take my favorite black owned um, hot comb. This is from EAP Heat, and I'm just going to um, make sure that all the hairs is nice and aligned. This hair is actually from a black owned hair business called Chambray Hair out in LA. This is their Indian blonde and when I tell y'all this hair is amazing. The texture reminds me of like a tex laxed African American type of texture. It's like it's so freaking pretty. Oh, we are giving volume, hunty. Now I'm gonna go ahead and change my shirt and my clothes, and then we're gonna just finish out this entire video. Okay, so the last step that I love to do is just part the hair, and now we're going to uniform the curls. So you see how it's like some curls going this way, some curls going that way. So I'm gonna take like a barrel brush, and I'm just going to put all the hair in the brush so that all the curls are going one way. And we're just gonna do that for the entire section. And you see what that did? Bomb. Okay, you guys, that is the end of the entire Meltdown Lace Awake tutorial. I hope you guys learned something new, as well as I hope you guys try out some of the products that I did mention in this video that are black owned. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to this episode of Hot Girl Style, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next episode. Bye, guys.